Hello! Today's combo is a spinning pole combo. And this is definitely upper intermediate to advanced level. You have to make sure you have a really good over split, a really good bind with your arms, and you should already be comfortable and familiar with your Allegra on both sides and your Jade split on both sides. All the moves in this combo that I'm going to show you all deal with a lot of pushing on the side and back rib area. So if you already have your splits and your over splits, a little drill to do first, after you warmed up, make sure you're warmed up, curl underneath your toe on the back foot so that you're on the ball of your foot and you're trying to lift your back knee up. And then see if you can raise one hand up and the other hand up or see if you can raise both hands up. Okay, try that on both sides. Lay all the way down on your back, and you're going to take one leg, same arm, same leg, and try and reach underneath your bottom, because that's where the pole's gonna be at. And then try and straighten out, and straighten out that leg, and that's gonna be very similar to what you're gonna feel when you're up on the pole. Okay, so make sure that is something you can do first on both sides and you also want to see if you can go into a bind here too and be able to get your fingers locked together right on the back of you here make sure that you can interlock those fingers together all right and again try that on both sides both sides always work both sides I'm going to pull myself up. I have my outside hand grabbing over the top to pull. Okay. Step, pull myself up. I bend the outside leg, lift the inside leg up, and then inside leg starts to go over my arm. I still feel like this leg is more of a straddle. And then I let go of the top hand and keep leaning my back towards the pole. You could reach here or you can reach all the way around and then reach for your back foot. Yes, and then to come out of it, let go, grab up, straddle, and down. Give it a try on both sides. And we're still in the straddle part okay from the straddle I take the outside leg and I bring that leg straight up the pole and then I sickle my foot so that it can hook on the pole like this so it comes straight up and it sickles on the pole I take the other leg that's in the straddle and I bend it trying to tuck it as close to my side as I can this is my setup to get into the machete split, okay? I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So I just came up, foot here, bend. Inside hand is gonna let go because it is now. I keep trying to pull this knee as close to my armpit as I can, reach that hand and then lean your belly button in towards the pole to be able to reach the pole. Then start to straighten out that leg and then into 
your split. Your machete split. Yeah? And then if you need to get out of it from here, bring this foot back up, let go of the pole, and re-grab and come out. Yes, it's gonna push right here a lot. So after the marchete split is when I go into the bind split, or sometimes we'll call it the rib crusher. <sighs> Pushing on the ribs a lot. So I'm gonna try and do this a little bit slower, okay? So I'm gonna go into the marchetti split again and then show you how I transition into the bind split. So come up, try not to spin too fast. From the straddle, sickle the foot, bend this knee down as close to your armpit as you can. Let go. It's right in between my hip and my ribs. Same place you would have a jade. Start to reach the arm. Reach for the pole. Really lean your belly button in. Once you have that hand grab, split. Yes. So from here, I start to take the back leg bring it into a straddle. I let go with my hand on the pole and come over. Okay. Then this hand lets go. Reach behind to get those fingers together. Slowly rotate this leg down. And then my bicep will be touching the pole up here. And then extend. Mm -hmm. And then to get out, I start to lift this leg up like I'm going into a straddle. Bend, let go, grab, grab, and down. exhausting if you do it really slow. Do both sides. Always work both sides. 